Good students. I am Rajiv Kumar, a social science teacher. Today I am going to teach you about the problems of India and their solutions. As you all know that our India got independence in 1947, August 15th of 1947. That time the government of India means that time the let me our Prime Minister called Jawaharlal Nehru and his Home Minister Sardar Vallabhai Patel had made had faced so many challenges. Means there was. They arrived with so many problems for the India. The problems like the refugee problems, unemployment, agricultural. They have to improve the agriculture. They have to improve the industries of India. So they have made their effort to improve the India. But still, India is having more and more problems. And in the, in this class, we are going to discuss such related problems called in the lesson the problems of India and their solutions. First of all, we will discuss about the unemployment, how it is affecting and as a problem in India and how what have to we have to do to get to more and more miss to face this problem and improve our Indian economy. Okay, first of all, I will tell you what is meant by unemployment. Unemployment means when a, when a person is ha having, a, having a talent and he is not going to not working anywhere and not earning anything and he is depending on others the type of activities called as unemployment in our india there is still 21.9 percent of the people are belong to the poverty rate i am telling you the reports of 2011 census the 2011 census says that poverty rate in india is 21.9 percent depend and the, this is dependency on agriculture more and more means india is still depend on the agriculture and what do you mean by poverty line poverty line is refers to a person a person who is earning with somewhere and he is unable to earn 100 rupees per day he is unable to earn 100 rupees per day so he is belongs to the poverty line. So this is happening because of the unemployment. So the government in, of India have to provide the employment for the people more and more and that is a challenging task for the every government that may be the central government or may be the state government. Okay. So that, that is why this, this solution how can we do? We have to do our self self work we should not depend on others we should have to improve we have to utilize our knowledge and we have to do the business we always should not be depend on the government jobs we have to search the jobs and we have to involve in our own self and we have to earn by ourselves that can be one, one type of solutions for the unemployment and but this is still a big problem for india next one is corruption Next problem is corruption. What do you mean by corruption means? Offering bribe following illegal means. It is called as a corruption. What do you mean by corruption means? Offering bribe following the illegal means and illegal methods to do so. It is called as a corruption. Nowadays, you can see the corruption is, the, the people not looking corruption as a corruption, they think it is, it is their status. If a, if a person who, was, who is participating in election or if a, that is a common fact nowadays. People are know that they, that is illegal, but they are doing it so. So that that is that is one type of the illegal offence itself. But still, it is there in India, and it is affecting the economy of India. How it is affecting? It is affecting on the economy. It is affecting on the polit political system of India. It is affecting on the so society itself. How the society, how it is affecting in the society means because the children who are who are growing in the society itself, they don't know anything. What is correct? What is wrong? So, so when the people itself, the leaders are the when we, we young people also involved in the corruption means the, the children also will learn this and that that they will be developed in the future itself now. So that's why we have to think about the future itself. And it is affecting on the all process I just told you few it is affecting out directly to the India itself okay we have already discussed about the unemployment and the corruption in next 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 topic is the discrimination how the discrimination become a problem for India what do you mean by discrimination discriminating means 
one person is good, another is worse. When we comparing a person, one is good, another is a bad. That depend on the gender, or maybe on the caste, or maybe on the regional inequalities. That is called as a discrimination. Means in a gender means we considering the man are the strong, woman are weak. Man can do this, woman can't do this. Okay, like this we have the thought in the mind that is called as a gender. Gender discrimination means the discriminating the people on the basis of the male, female. Caste, caste discrimination is the first two. That is upon the SCSTs or the OBC or the depend upon the their region we are making the discrimination is called as a caste discrimination. Region, regional inequalities means like if, for example in Karnataka we have given a uh, Hyderabad Karnataka region as the special status to get the jobs and the reservation itself now so that uh, the type of uh, inequalities are there in every region that, that is called as the regional inequality that is also belongs to the discrimination itself it is directly affecting on the India itself that is become the biggest problem for India why it is because some of the states or uh, some of the regions in the states are asking to follow separate uh, separate states for example the Telangana have came out of the Andhra Pradesh Okay, and in, in Karnataka also some of the regions are asking to for the separate states. So that's why the Karnataka government have given them a separate status in the article called 371J. And the, the one of the amended act in the article in the our constitution is reserved for the regional inequalities that is only the 371 amended act. Article 371 amended from A to J. Which one uh, from A to J is reserved for the regional uh, inequalities in our Karnataka's status of the Hyderabad Karnataka belongs to the 371 uh, J. In these uh, Bidar, Gulbarga, Raichuru, Raichuru, Yadgiri, Ballari and Kopal belongs to the Hyderabad uh, Karnataka. And when we come to the, the gender discrimination itself, uh, here uh, our Karnataka, in, in, in our people are always thinking that women can't do, the men can do this. But nowadays the women also having their own special status. That's why the government of India and the government of Karnataka also reserved the, some of the, for example, reservation in local body election. Our government of India is given the one, one third seats for the women self. Our Karnataka government gives that 50% uh, of seats to the women. That is, the shows to, to empower the women and uh, give them a special status and should be given uh, equal opportunities for the women. That's why the governments are making their, their own uh, efforts. But uh, people are but people are not uh, doing so. They are still be, be in belief that uh, the, they, they are have, always having the thought about uh, the discrimination which is already came through, where to this came? This one came through the Varna system. Do you know what is meant by Varna system? Varna system is belongs to the Vedas. During the time of the Vedas, the, that you know that now, the, the time the four Varnas are made. That is Bra Brahmina, Kshatriya, Vaishyas and Shudras. That is still in the minds of the people, they are always uh, depend on this and they are always thinking about uh, the gender discrimination that is affecting our India. Now we will discuss about the another problem of India that is the communalism. Means uh, the, we are always uh, making hater, creating hatredness by the, some of the uh, leaders or the lead, leading activities, whatever they will do in the base of the religion that is called as a communalism that is creating the hatred what that is creating here the people will hate hate each other each other religions and they will be create a rebel okay they will be do the agitations they will do the agitations and that will affect the India and that they have to face lot of the problems because of this. But our India, Indian constitution is based on the secularism. Means that should be given, there should be a, every religion should be given an equal status. There is no religion, there is no national religion in the Indian constitution. There is no, not mentioned any religion as a national religion. Every religion is given an equal opportunity. But uh, this uh, is still a big problem that we are seeing through 
Bengal is divided, you know that one already, you already studied in the history itself, now in the 1906, Bengal is divided, who divided it? Britishers, Britishers have divided the Bengal and what they have, they have done there, they have divided Hindus and the Muslims, their policy is already there, they divide and rule, they have divided, but Indians not divided, what they have done, they have gone to each other houses muslims are going to the hindu hindu friends what the, for the holy for the diwali and hindu hindu are uh, hindus are going to the muslims friends houses for the eid and bakrid whatever they will celebrate because before that the indians are didn't know that we are belong to this religion we have to hate them they not have any feeling like that but britishers have created it that still is depending on that is going on in India but that time the Indians have shown the equality that time the British itself in 1911 they have withdrawn the division of Bengal because of the unity like this we have to be we have to show our unity we have to we should, we should not hate any religion we have to give the equal status for the every religion that time that can be not affect as a problem for India okay next to status of women here the status of women is still in India the people are think that I already have told you in a topic called discrimination how the people are discriminating on the gender basis itself still India have already have seen the Pratibha Patel as the first woman president of India Indira Gandhi as the first prime minister of India and Sarojini Nadu also done her own effort and led with her own efforts like this we have the Rani Lakshmi Bar by and Jhansi, Jhansi Rani Lakshmi Bai, Kittur Rani Chandama, like this we have the various examples like the Razia Sultana, they have, they have done their own effort, they have shown that the women are not weak, if they have the yeah, if they have the opportunity they can do anything nowadays you can see the women are working as the pilot, auto driver, bus driver, everywhere they are, every field they have occupied, they have that shows that Indian women are also strong, they are, they, they are not weak, okay. That's why Indian government is already, I have given you that the Indian, Indian government in the local body elections have given the one third reserve, reserved seats, one third reserved seat like that or Karnataka government also given 50% 50% of seats are given to the woman itself. Why that, that is there? Because to, to give the equal opportunity for the woman. That's why the governments are doing their own efforts to do, but the people are still not understanding. They are belong to the patriarchal families, still the men are dominating on the women in so many areas, in so many families still there. So women are not able to get the education. Some of the, some of the ch children you can see now they, when they will they will pass the SSLC examination, they will do the marriages and they will arrange them, they will still some of the boys who are not studying well, they will go to the colleges but the girl child will not go to college because people think about the prejudice itself. Okay, that is one of the problem for India, status of women is also the biggest problem for India but the government of India is trying to, trying to give the equal opportunities for the women itself. Another problem is the terrorism. Terrorism is affecting now more and more to India. Terrorism means, what do you mean by terrorism? Means, means doing the efforts to make the government, doing the efforts to make the government to, we are we, doing illegal way, doing any efforts to, against the government that is called as a terrorism. For example, we have the Taj Hotel attack in the 26 November of 2007 26 November of 2007 in this we have seen the Taj Hotel attack by the terrorists similarly last year during the February month that is on the 14th February 14th, 14th of February Pulwama attack where 
our 40 crpf soldiers have died by a miss the suicide bomber have attacked on them they have lost their life itself 40 crpf soldiers have lost their life means terrorism is method of putting pressure on a government method of putting pressure on a government and showing through the suicide bombers and various efforts putting the bombs in the areas some of the multi some of the cities like the bangalore mumbai okay they are most terrorist targeted areas okay and who are doing this all our neighboring countries are more affecting for the terrorism here that is pakistan and china pakistan and china are always doing this type of activities against india but indian government our india is always peace loving nation our india is always a peace loving nation which we should be not like anything like that we always want to share we want to share we want to we want peace with the neighboring nations but the our neighboring countries always want to attack on india but it is also a biggest problem for india okay this this like we have the various problems these are only some only mention here as the problems but there are various problems which are affecting on india okay i hope you have understand this lesson practice it in your home stay safe stay safe thank you